and welcome to the Blue Age Sports Show. I'm Hannah Warner. And I'm Mike Gonzalez. We have a lot to cover today, so let's get started. The FAU football team hosted the Buffalo Bulls this past weekend. Blue Wave's Alan Chicatello was there to catch the action. Hey everyone, I'm Alan Chicatello with the Blue Wave Sports Show. We're here at beautiful FAU Stadium to see the Florida Atlantic Owls take on the Buffalo Bulls. This is the first meeting between these two schools. Let's see the action. FAU got on the board after an intentional grounding penalty in the end zone resulted in a safety, followed by backup quarterback Jason Driscoll's six-yard touchdown pass, one of his record 55 pass attempts for 385 yards, to tight end Nate Terry to give the Owls a 9-0 lead. Running back Jay Warren fumbled, leading to Buffalo's first touchdown with a minute left in the first half. After that, it was all Buffalo. The Bulls scored on a 19-yard field goal, a 39-yard pick six, a safety, and a 19-yard rushing touchdown. The only touchdown the Owls scored in the second half was a 54-yard touchdown catch by Cameron Solomon, his first of the season, followed by a failed two-point conversion. Buffalo ended the game with 23 points off of five FAU turnovers. Uh, we just got to keep building on our improvement. Hope we get a full week of practice this week so uh, that we get a chance to focus on the things that are obvious challenges for us right now. Another week, another devastating loss for the Owls. FAU falls to the Buffalo Bulls 33-15. Up next, we start conference play against Charlotte. The Owls will travel to Charlotte to take on the 49ers in their first conference game next weekend. The women's soccer team was in action this past week. First, the Lady Owls traveled to Lubbock, Texas to face the 28th ranked Red Raiders of Texas Tech. Sydney Drinkwater collected four saves for FAU and Giovanna Alves scored the lone goal for the Owls. But unfortunately, FAU fell to the Red Raiders 2-1. Later, the Owls returned home to face the University of California, Irvine. The Anteaters shut out FAU by the final score of 1-0. The Owls will start conference play this week hosting UTEP and UTSA. The men's soccer team reignited their rivalry with the hated Panthers of FIU. Nick Bennett was on the field to cover the game. Hey guys, Nick Bennett here with the Blue Wave Sports Show at FAU Soccer Stadium. We're here to watch FAU Owls take on the FIU Panthers. Now to the action. FIU started out with a goal in the seventh minute of the game. The Owls tried their best to keep up with the Panthers, but struggled with maintaining ball control. The Panthers went on to score two more unanswered goals in the 19th and the 34th minute of the game. FAU only was able to take three shots on goal in the first period, while the Panthers managed nine shots on goal with three scores. In the second period, FIU opened up the scoring with a goal in the 57th minute, but eager and relentless, the Owls fought back and scored two unanswered goals. One by Albion Naziri in the 73rd minute, and the second was from Elijah McDonald, a beautiful kick from the corner over the head of the keeper. But the celebration was short-lived when the Panthers went on to score three more points without a response and to win the game. Tough loss here for the Owls as they fell to FIU 7-2. Now back to you at the station. The women's volleyball team traveled to Fort Myers to participate in the Florida Gulf Coast Invitational. In the first game, FAU beat the host Eagles three sets to one. In the next game, the Owls fell to the University of Ohio three to one. Later in the week, FIU hosted FAU in their conference opener. The Owls fell to the Panthers three sets to one, bringing their record to six and four. FAU will stay on the road in conference play, traveling to Southern Miss and Rice this week. Thank you for watching this episode of the Blue Wave Sports Show. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. See you next week.